How's that? You're known to protest. And one of my favorite protests was the 2004 Gracie Arnolds. So yeah. now that, you know, we're, what, what, 16, 17 years removed from it? Yeah. Would you mind, like, giving a brief description of what your takeaways from that moment are today? Um, well, I found out that my, because I was really new to American Top Team. Um, oh. So there we are. Uh, I was really new to American top team and um, all these guys are Brazilian on my team. Like, oh, I was like one of me and Wade Rome, I think were the only American guys, white guys on the team. Everybody's Brazilian. Donald <laughs> Gracie. And um, I had, I got Pato Pano in the final and it was, it was like 2,500 bucks first prize and like a thousand dollars second prize. So back then, you know, like that many years ago, that was, that was pretty good for grappling. And, um, and you had to like, remember, like when I went to these tournaments, it was a little different this time because I went with America top team. And I think I, I flew with the owner, Dan Lambert took us like there in his jet and stuff like that. But most of the time I had go to these, these tournaments and like, I had to win in order to not lose money, you know, cause I bought a flight there. And then I stayed in the hotel and like usually I stayed with like Scotty from on the mat or something like that. Like almost always I, I, I'd hook up with someone to like sleep with on the floor on a, a spare bed or something like that. But um, <laughs> on this, on this trip we had, I was with Dan. So that was good. But normally, man, if I, if I, I remember like I went to Vegas and lost to made it to the finals and lost to um, Dean Lister, who at that time was like a, a no, 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 not Dean Lister. Uh, Who's that guy that had the big rivalry with Dean Lister? Um, I don't know. I think of it anyway. He I lost him like by advantage or something like that. He, he, what's up, Rob Drysdale? No. Okay. My, okay. Um, Keep it going, Jeff. Sorry. <laughs> okay, I'm switching switching spots here. Um, uh, white guy. Sorry, going to get dark for a second, guys. It's 3 a.m. where Jeff said, I might add. Yeah. Like, we I'm are completely upending his house while doing yeah, this I'm interview. Switching. Yeah, I'm switching the rooms because uh, the baby woke up and was in with mom. So I'm just going into her room. There we go. Um, anyway, uh, kick. Guy, he's real famous. Shaved his head. He fought in the UFC. Um, I don't know. It doesn't matter. Anyway, I lost. Like by advantage and man i like i remember this was in vegas and i was just like so bummed I spent like 200 dollars on a plane ticket and like food and all this stuff and i was like i was coming back like broke you know so it was like all these tournaments were like this if you didn't win you were you i can't you came back bro so i was like really wasn't that i i wanted to win but i really had to win because they were poor but anyway so i i had pedal punt on the finals and i um I, he pulled guard and then maybe two or three minutes into it, I put a can opener on him. He has his guard closed. And so he taps almost immediately, like a heart, like bam, 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 bam. Like, not just like, oh, it hurts. Like, but like, I'm dying, like tap. And um, so he jumps up and it's like, immediately goes to the ref, starts complaining. And I, I raise my hands, I win. And um, I'd beaten him like the week before or maybe two weeks before in, in Florida. And um, he be, he beat me like a year earlier in Abu Dhabi, so we kind of had a rivalry going. And um, so he's complaining that like it was against the rules and this, and I was saying no, it wasn't against the rules. And um, so it's just like a big, I guess I, I thought it was like half hour, but I guess it was like forty five minutes or so, and it was just craziness. His team and my like American top, they're screaming in Portuguese for forty five minutes going back. At some point during this, I'm just like, you know what? I went back on the mat and I just, I would get on my knees and I'm like, I'm like, like saying, let's go, let's go. Let's, let's well, fight well, again. The referee also called for additional time, two or three different occasions over the, uh, the intercom. Yeah. Yeah. He, and, and, and Cooper, um, what's John the, Cooper, John Cooper, he was saying, okay, let's just restart it. Like go from there. And, um, and then, uh, but, uh, and you were fine with it. 
Yeah, yeah well, I was fine, even though he tapped me because I, I, I just knew I was going to beat him. I just I, like I had his number. I had like he was he didn't want to fight. Like he just didn't want to fight. I'm like, who? I couldn't. See, that's what I couldn't understand. It's like somebody that's a competitor. He he won Abu Dhabi in the year that he beat me, and I'm like, this guy doesn't want to fight. Like you know what I mean? Like it's like he doesn't want to grapple. Like it's crazy. It's like you're not gonna get hurt. It's like you don't you don't want to compete. Like why are you here? So he's just looking for a way out. And I think it. I think he set this up. I think he just planned this. You know. So it's it's crazy. But anyway. Um, they go on and on and that at some point some some couple that had had uh taped the interview um or had taped uh they had done interviews and was taping the tournament said hey here's here's the rule meeting and showed um helson gracie saying yeah you can open the you can open, you can use a can opener to open the guard once you open the guard you gotta let go like oh, it's just right there like they're like man, it's right here you said it's from your mouth and he he's just going no like i know the rules i made this tournament and like the, you said the rules that, that you were asked this question so it was going on and on and at some point helson i mean Petapano was like saying oh we're not going to bring our guys here anymore we're gonna blackball you like you're gonna be you know all this other stuff like who were school. they saying this to they're saying this to helson grayson like the uh, Jay uh, Petapano, he's he's saying, that, and I didn't know what he was saying. They told me later because it was all in Portuguese. But they're telling him like, we're gonna, like you, we're gonna run you out of town. We're gonna, like you're not gonna be welcome back in Brazil. Like all this stuff. I don't know how much of it they could actually follow through with. But um, anyway, I mean, Petapano was a big name, especially at that point. You know, Wabi Dabi champ in this. So he, I mean, he had some pull, but I don't know what he could have done. Um, but anyway. And Helsey goes, in my mind, you're the winner. And he told the referee, whoever the ref was, like, to announce him the winner. They raised his hand. I took him down, the ref, and then all hell broke loose. And I pulled down, I remember going out, I pulled down the, like, speaker and wires and, like, the thing fell down and all this. I was just pissed. But, I mean, I, and I, uh, Peter Pano did, he did split the money at the end. Um, so I can't, my, my teammate went up to him and said, are you going to do, are you going to at least follow through with that? And he did. So, um, but that yeah, was crazy, man. It's crazy. <laughs> so the one thing that gets neglected in this story, whenever it's retold was I, I was there like for the, not yeah. for that portion, but for the earlier like part of the tournament I was. And what's neglected is, is that your teammate Wade Rome it was arguable that Wade actually should have deserved points that he never got. And because of that, he lost his match against Petapano. Yeah, in the semis. In the semis. So it really should have been you and Wade Roman to find. Yeah, that was that was, I didn't watch that match because obviously I was grappling myself. So but yeah, there was pretty controversial that he even made the finals. So, yeah. yeah, I don't I don't know. This is this was the second time at the Arnold's I got. I got really, really robbed. I got robbed like two years earlier against an American top team guy that before was American top team, believe it or not. So um, tell, tell that story, Jeff. <laughs> well, you know Dustin Dennis. Oh yeah. Clean. Oh yeah, so this yeah is, for sure. This is before I knew the guy. And so I went to the tournament and um we did just it was a super match. It was like for two grand. And so I had to win. To get two grand, you had to win. Um, and so I had, I really like a man, I bought my own ticket, the same, same scenario. And so I did a, a match with them and they go, the rules that you can't pull guard or it's like, or you lose your points, you lose two points, you pull guard, da, da, you know, and there's no, there's no uh, advantages, points only. If it's a draw, you split it, you split the grand, right? So, okay. So I, I do this match with them. And Dan Lambert, all these guys that I played with, I didn't know any of these guys. Like, you know what I mean? Because this, bef- this was before America Top Team. This was what I think it was Silveria, Silveria Brothers at this point, Marcelo and Conan Silveria. Yeah. Like, and so um, he pulled guard right away. So I think, okay, it's 2 0. And like five, maybe like four or five minutes into it, we go out of bounds. I look at the scoreboard, it's 0 0. And I'm like, what the hell? You know, and I complain and they're like, like they acted like they didn't, that wasn't part of the rules. So anyway, I think whatever. So this next part, like nothing happened for a few minutes. I try to pass the guard, try to pass the guard, nothing, nothing. And then they go, 
um, like, man, I gotta, I gotta score. I can't, I can't, I gotta like win this fight. I can't do a draw. And so I, for the next five minutes, I just went there. I think it was a 10 minute match. I just went crazy trying to pass, trying to pass, trying to pass. I got put in probably two or three arm bars, two or three triangles. <laughs> you know what I mean? I got out of everything, but we ended up the match, nothing. And then they raised his hand and I'm like, I thought there were no advantages and uh they same, same thing helson came out and goes you're the winner like just said like i mean so i i threw a fit like i i, I shook his hand because he had nothing to do with it but i bitched and complained not nothing like the arnold's or later with uh Petapano, but he's bitching and um i remember uh dan lambert later he goes man i didn't know i thought you were just a little bitch <laughs> like you were complaining and stuff like before and i knew you and i go man like I really got robbed. Like I'm, I'm so, um, I'm so hard on myself. Like, you know what I mean? Like I, and there, I didn't win that fight. I didn't deserve to win it, even though I pulled guard, but I definitely didn't lose it. So I don't know. I'm, I'm not hard on myself. 